Hello everyone, my name's Glenn and uh, I'm into astrophotography. Welcome to my corner of the garden. This is my little roll off roof observatory um, where I carry out most of my imaging. Um, I wanted to make a video to ex show you my journey over the last 12 months since I started doing this hobby so that if anybody else is thinking of starting it they've got some ideas of how it can progress. So I'm going to show you my images from the beginning to now and how they've improved. I'm not where I want to be yet with my images uh, but um, I'm certainly getting towards that and I just wanted to, I see a lot of people who have just starting out and they're thinking oh should I carry on, am I any good and we all start at this level where you, you get wowed by because you've taken a picture of something you've never taken a picture of before but it's worth sticking with and learning because it, it gets better. Um, August 2019, I took a picture of the Milky Way. This is what really started me. I managed to get a sort of, I had about 20 pictures, 20 images of it. I think I was going to try and do a time lapse, but I didn't have enough, uh, enough images, didn't have enough time to do it. I took those images home and it was through trying to edit them that I learned about stacking images through Deep Sky Stacker and other programs that are similar and I came across people on YouTube like Trevor Jones and Dylan O'Donnell, Star Stuff and many others and I watched their videos and it, was, it fascinated me. The images that they were producing were amazing and I started to learn about what was up in the sky with the galaxies and the nebula. Um, I didn't realise that all of these images were actually available to you. So. What you're about to see is a series of images right from the beginning where I was taking pictures with my DSLR with a camera lenses um, through to when I started getting telescopes, moved to a, a modified camera, then I moved to a cooled astro camera and finally I've actually gone into mono imaging with filters. I've only just started that last step. I do believe it will take me to the next level and will allow me to get the images that I'm after. I have noticed already, even with the very, just a couple of little goes I've had, that the detail levels are a lot better, so um, I'm very happy. I'm gonna do a video on the observatory build and my peer that's behind me here build for my permanent setup, so that if you have the space or it's something that you'd like to do, you can see how I did it and what it cost me. I did it on a budget because I didn't want to spend a fortune. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe if you do enjoy it. And uh, I'll try and add some more content when I can. Uh, I also have a website, uh, www.astrobloke.co.uk where I've got all my images and uh, a few tutorials on how to use the Astro Pixel Processor. Um, feel free to have a look please and uh, if you do get into astrophotography enjoy it's uh, it's a it's a fun hobby I really like it um, I'm a gearhead I'm a nerd perfect right see you later